The Terminator franchise has put a lot of focus on its Terminator villains, with each movie giving us a new type of Terminator. They also change how it's designed and how it functions. Throughout the series, we have seen different types of Terminators, but as Skynet continued to fail in their mission to eliminate John or Sarah Connor, a new Terminator was created. This is the T-3000 Terminator. As the previous models were heavily focused on creating a machine Terminator, the T-3000 was quite the opposite. It was actually a human host transformed through an exposure of machine phase matter. This resulted in the victim's genetic coding being completely rewritten. Their body was now full of billions of nanomachines. Now, while the procedure is said to be irreversible, almost every host would be driven insane. The only host to survive this procedure was John Connor in the movie Terminator Genesis. The T-3000 was created by Skynet around the time before the final battle, Operation Chrono. This mission was to destroy Skynet's defense grid in the mountains of Colorado. And around the year 2029, John Connor was successful in this mission. So this is the time when Skynet realizes it cannot defeat John in the present. So they try to erase him from history by sending two Terminators back in time. A T-800 is sent back in 1984 and a T-1000 is sent back in 1995. And so Kyle Reese is sent back to protect Sarah Connor and a reprogrammed T-800 is sent back to protect John in his younger years. Just as Kyle Reese is transported away, he witnesses the death of John Connor right before his eyes. A T-5000 Terminator infiltrated the group. Even sniffer dogs could not pick it up. It's later revealed that Skynet uploaded its consciousness directly into the T-5000 Terminator. It has the ability to infect human beings with nanorobots, which in turn changes them on a cellular level and creating the T-3000 Terminator. This event also marked the short but only time a T-5000 appeared in the story, so we don't have all the details about that model. However, we do have more information about the T-3000. The machine phase matter that creates the frame of the T-3000 is held together by a magnetic field. This can allow it to develop stabbing weapons or have regenerative abilities. It can also impersonate other characters similar to the T-1000's mimetic polyalloy. The upgrade it received gives it better resistance against firearms and explosives, and it also can reconstitute itself quicker than a T-1000. One of its very unique abilities is that it can dispel its entire body into a mist. This occurs when its magnetic connections are weakened for a brief amount of time, then it can reassemble itself elsewhere. Because its entire body is made up of nanotechnology, it can learn various things simply by touching them, very much like the T-1000 could in Terminator 2. The magnetic field it has can also be used to maneuver along metal surfaces, and because its entire structure is made up of nanomachines, fire and electricity don't seem to affect it much. When it's engaging in combat, the T-3000 can enlarge its muscle mass. During the time it breaks up into its mist form, the T-3000 still has a strong magnetic bond to its robotic cells, but it always returns to a human form. Even though this new Terminator is controlled by Skynet's primary directives, it still retains the emotions and memories of its human host. But it's unknown if it can feel any emotion at this point. And what about its weaknesses? Does it have any? Well, it seems other magnetic forces can interfere with its own magnetic field, and lasers can slow it down. The last thing I want to mention is the origin of the name T-3000. We were going to get a 3D animated reboot of the Terminator series. It was going to be called Terminator 3000, but it was cancelled, and instead we got the movie Terminator Genesis and the short name of T-3000 could have been taken from that cancelled project. So that covers some information about the T-3000 and the T-5000 Terminator. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like rating on it. And if you want to see more stuff like this, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, or Acid Glow, and I'll see you in the next video.